Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today we're going to take a look at this movie, Paul, right here. And we're going to help an awful lot of people out with this. This movie shows the satanic antichrist figure coming as an alien, right here, called Paul, through this. Now, all through this movie, it goes on and on about evolution, and he keeps trying to tell everybody that there's basically no God, and that we all just evolve and things. And that there is no heaven and there's no hell. He even keep, starts teaching this one woman that she should just fornicate and cuss and just go crazy. And she, she was a Christian, so she renounces her faith. Well, let's help everybody out here, and we're going to show all of this. For one thing, you are literally looking at the second horseman of the apocalypse. Most people who do not read the Bible just don't know these things. See the two men here? in red and blue. And for those that have been following me, remember I talked about the name Graham? This character plays Graham. Exactly as Graham means warring, to war. In the Bible, this individual is also called the Great Millstone that is cast to the earth and turns and turns with World War III. The big Winnebago is just like the Wheelstone as they're traveling around, the Great Tribulation coming, and the Great Deception of the Bible. Well, this means the second horseman of the Apocalypse is coming. The second horseman wears red, and he carries a sword. So how can he be against God and everything when he is one of the horsemen coming? Let's help everybody. See here? The first horseman rides and conquers everything. And then the second horseman, and when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So there we go. So we can see how these things can be right in front of us and trick the whole world almost easily into not believing in God, and yet the whole situation is right in the Bible. We're going to prove this stuff today. They said they had him trapped over at Area 51. Nearly all of these stories are influenced spiritually and such. He said this in this movie. He said that he and all of his kind were influencing everything, doing all the movies, all the stories, all the books, writing through the human beings, literally. And they had him at Area 51 right here. See Area 51? The biggest UFO in enthusiast place ever. Now, in the Bible, it says the USA, the daughter of Babylon and such, will be full of every evil spirit there is on the earth. <sighs> Sorry guys, our government's been taken over by these things. Right here in front of you, you are looking at him making his clones. Right in front of you. These are called clowns, meaning little clones of him. See how he's making little humanoid figures? And there, see this is a DNA strip. There's a human head and they're creating these alien hybrids right here in front of you. This individual is right under the ground, right here. That guy. See him right in there? There he is. And they're making, see that? Look at that. The DNA going right down and into, and they're creating these bodies, or a better body for him. So we have all of that, all right there. So let's continue on. We're going to show this trailer now through there, and then we'll move on. We're going to actually prove this. This is also what's considered to be the left hand of God. Jesus Christ sits at the right hand, and he is known as the defender. The left hand is the satanic figure, the accuser, this guy right here, the alien grays and such, even though he was green in here. 
but that's what it represents. He even represents the last horseman, which comes in the on the pale horse, which some have said is Christos, which means green. Right there. See that? So you have the red horseman and the green horseman. We don't know what Graham is supposed to represent here. His name means warring. We know that. And he's been in in the Transformers movie, Age of Extinction, Graham was the bad guy. He normally plays the bad guy in all of these things. So let's take a look at the trailer. Going on a road trip, huh? Yeah. On a tour of America's most famous UFO hotspots. I hear that. I cannot believe we're going to see Area 51. I'm Paul. <laughs> what have you done to him? He fainted. Yeah, but you made him faint. But it's not like I set my phaser to faint. You got a phaser? Oh, God. I really need your help. This is a matter of life and death. Heads up. We just got reassigned. I want E.T. back in his fishbowl or dead ASAP. Hey! Ah! Reese's Pieces! Yes, thank you. What if he and Sussa probe into our you-know-what? Well, apparently they don't do that. Anyone want one of these? Eh? Anyone? Eh? Warning. <gasps> He's from another world. He cannot be from space. It's not possible. You saw it for yourself. He's right there. Are they looking? Are they looking right now? <laughs> How did you go invisible? Like Predator. It's a camouflage response. But you can do it anytime you want. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! you gentlemen seen anything unusual this evening? No, not really. Oh! oh! Guys, this is too dangerous. I can make it on my own from here. We are in this together, Paul. Tell me which way the little green guy went. Why are we holding hands? So we look like a family. Just a couple of regular guys walking down the street with a small cowboy. Break it down, boys. Stoke the fire. This is the most fun I have ever had. He'll be okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. Don't worry, I got it all under control. Ah! Hey, what, hey, what are you doing? Just watch. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. Why would oh. you do that? I'm not gonna eat a dead bird, am I? <laughs> Well, that seems innocent enough, doesn't it? Except that all the way through it, they are laughing at all the Christians, and they keep getting like the Christian girl. They took her away from Christ and turned her into a, basically a whore right through there. So here's the tag on the back of their thing, and it says it. See, one T? It. I-T. Exactly as we've seen in those Steven Spielberg movies and stuff. Or, excuse me, Stephen King movies. It. The clown. Does the clown have anything to do with the Illuminati? There he is, the clown coming for the fifth age. See how he makes everybody into this idol worship and takes them away from God? This is the eagle granted to the wise virgin Christians that are taken away from the great temptation that comes upon the world through there. <clears throat> Illuminati, when you read it the right way, from right to left, as in Hebrew, it says, it, I-T, animal I. It, animal, I. It means the eye of the beast. It. Right there. Now watch how this stuff is right in the movies. It's influenced all around us all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. But there is it. Do they do anything in here with the eye? With the left eye? Yes, they do. This is the girl they turn into the whore. See her right here, this Christian girl? And they, they take away all her faith, and she immediately wants to become a whore. See her left eye? The alien takes his finger and touches her and fixes her left eye. But it also really puts a piece of him in there. We've shown this before on ancient hieroglyphs. Remember it says, it, animal, eye. It is the eye of the beast, the left hand, the left hand side. This is a glyph of Akhenaten. I've broken down 
many hieroglyphs from around the world, the Holy Ghost woke me up to come and show everybody these things, to have a balance. We have people making movies like this, and you have me making movies like this as a balance. There's two sides to this as I keep showing. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. All of these map out the end of days. The pyramids are even supposed to be there. They're in Isaiah 19:19, 19, 19, an altar built to the Lord. They are also part of the jagged stones that are meant to keep down the fallen angels, as in Azazel. Azazel was put underneath a jagged stone in the book of Enoch. He's underneath those things. This right here maps out the end of days. Here comes this clown, that little alien character right there, the V for the fifth age. Up here, it shows him falling. See this big head falling, like the alien has the big head? When this falls, see how it's falling right here like a big ram or a big bull? It's actually a big bull. Do you see what they're doing to the left eye now? They did this in the movie. Literally, it replaced her left eye and it showed like part of his eye being messed up as if part of it had gone into her and now she is just a clone remember we just showed at Area 51 they turn people into these clones right there see it it's all going by the Bible so now she falls for the great deception and she she comes away from Jesus and then he fixes her eye and stuff through there now this guy is also considered to be like a bull coming. See how him right here? See how he's riding this red bull? See the red bull? That means that's for the World War III and the apocalypse. Is he riding a red bull in any of this? There's the red bull. See him right there? See him riding the red bull with the sword for World War III? Yes, it's all right in front of you. So this whole movie that makes everybody think that there is no God is actually going perfectly by scripture. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is the great deception coming. Aliens and such upon the earth through there. He will even try to make an antichrist, not a Prince William or somebody, who knows. Now, so we have him there. I wanted to show this scene where he says he is a bull. So let's go to here. Here you go. He says he's going to, it's too dangerous, he has to go alone. And all of these guys, just like in the Winnebago, the Wheel of the Great Tribulation, that's like the four horsemen sitting right here. I can make it on my own from here. We are in this together, Bull. Bull. He calls him Bull. I can make it on my own from here. We are in this together, Bull. See there? So now do you see how it's all right in front of us? Right there? The Bull. The Red Bull, World War III coming, the Wheel of the Great Tribulation, the Great Deception that comes upon the Earth through there. Well, now let's show something else. These things aren't just mapped out right here. The whole Earth is made as a matrix. God made all the world. It's all going perfectly. Everything. So let's go and show that this is mapped out. We've mapped out the whole world and... <laughs> Every continent, every state, every river, every road, every mountain shows the story of God. Up here is the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne in the star of Bethlehem. On the right hand side sits Jesus Christ in mercy and grace. See the eagle leaving? And then on the left hand side sits the accuser, Satan. See him coming? That is the accuser, the left hand side. That's what this represents. Him. Okay, so let's go ahead and show that this is actually mapped out all around the world. For those that have been with me, we've shown all this for years, but hopefully some new people will come to the Lord. All of the earth is mapped out literally showing what's coming. God can do this. It's, he just does it. The story started in San Diego, and that's where the Winnebago started running and turning like a great wheel of the tribulation. Right down here, you can see that this represents the sword out of Jesus mouth see the Baja strip is a perfect sword see the sword right out of Jesus mouth do you see the alien head this represents when he receives his grievous head wound and then he rises back up in the movie the little alien died a couple of times practically but he just comes back to life 
<laughs> you know, he can regenerate. But this represents the great millstone falling, and here is the phoenix of all of us leaving with Jesus Christ and the souls as we leave. You can actually see all of this right here. You can see the ET right there, right here mapped out by these lines perfectly. Not easy to see. It's not supposed to be. You can see the UFO coming, crashing into the water. This is going to be cast down right here at the 33 degree parallel. And then the great earthquake that happens here is supposed to happen in the Bible. It helps the woman of Revelation 12 and it will bury his ship. And then he has to get out and he has 42 months to try to get to his next way out through there. See this woman? The dragon Satan comes after the woman. In the movie, the little alien killed Sigourney Weaver, just like killing the woman right here. The dragon persecutes the woman, comes after her, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. That's the great earthquake that's going to bury this ship. It's supposed to happen. The sword out of Jesus' mouth. And then he rises up, and actually gets the sword after he recovers and takes it to do the Great Tribulation in World War III. All right in front of us, right there. Here is Jesus Christ with the eagle leaving and all of the wise virgins. You can see the face right there. You can see the whole phoenix right here. Not easy to see. Give it a few minutes, you'll see it better. Just like that. We actually fly all the way across and over and into this arc right here. And you can see this stone falling that says, I am, right there. There you go. Jesus Christ, ready to go. See him lifting us all up in this ark with this lion's face right there. Look, you can even see all of this. This is one of the first things I ever drew years and years and years ago. You can see the lion right there. See that? Then see the boat? See how this is Jesus' right hand and he's calling everybody out with his right hand. And we all fly over into the Ark of His Testament as He lifts us up, and we are all reborn into our new bodies. This actually represents the woman of the Bible right over here giving birth to us, and we go up as the blue, and we escape from the Great Tribulation. See the blue leaving? And then He comes to trick the reds. That's what He does. The red represents Esau and Edom. Just as the alien talked about eating people several times, literally. It says, well, I didn't have to eat him. <sighs> you know, <laughs> not kidding. <sighs> Through there. So we have all of that perfect. If you can see it or not. Now let's show the alien. <clears throat> We've mapped out all of the world like this. This is the Nazca lines right here where everybody wonders, well, what are all these lines doing on down here? Well, we mapped them out. <clears throat> They all show Jesus Christ and his plan. Everything. Look at it all down here. It actually shows Jesus right here, even with this spiral. And see how he passes us through the dog star? We go through the dog star and we pass over onto this phoenix. And we pass over this little alien that's coming to turn people into reptiles. You see this reptile being born out of this woman? He comes with a new type of Eucharist, and when he puts it in people, it means part of that alien goes in him. The green reptile things. This side passes over this, and we go all the way up here to the, towards the heavenly areas. And then this is the two cherubs on the Ark of the Covenant. This is Jesus' side, and then Satan makes his side. And you can see all the way up here, it has the mark of the beast in them. You see the little alien living inside of this head right there? That is Satan's side. See how Jesus' side is higher up here? 
And then this is Satan's kingdom with the mark of the beast and the aliens living inside of humanity right there. It maps it all the way out, all the way through here, each and everything. You see how it says studientes, like the students? And then the wise virgins will leave from here and we will go over to El Ingenio, the geniuses, the wise virgins. We pass over. We are on the earth as students. It's going perfectly by the Bible. Perfect. So right here we have shown before that Jesus is in there wrapping up the souls that he chooses. He wraps them up like a bird, like a phoenix. So he wraps us up like a bird and we get our wings. This guy eats birds. He eats anything with wings. He eats the birds. He is Esau and Edom. He tries to kill us. Literally, that's what is going on here. Isn't this just wild? You watch this movie and it's just crazy. And people are falling for this. Not one, not two. 99 out of 100 will fall for this. It's just horrible. So let's show him standing here. He's sitting right here in front of you right now. We have to go from over here where our souls are picked up and we pass over this bull and we end up going into our rest right there, right in front of you. You are literally looking at him in his ship right here, sitting in front of you. Paul. There he is, right there. The ship is linked up from here all the way to the star systems. If you've been on my channel, this is what we showed before. We have to go through the medium. This can go between the two realms through there. So you see him coming? You see the P? This represents the Ark of the Covenant and the Law and the Ten Commandments in there. He is one of the cherubs. He is the, he is the left hand side. So Jesus is right above him and he's passing us over like a fisherman literally right here let's we'll see if you can see this for a second not supposed to be easy can you see him yet Jesus is right up here that's the top of his head there's his nose and his mouth and his beard goes all the way down to here he has a fishing pole he has a fishing pole literally to here with a big P on it. See the P? Because we pass over. See that there? Right down to the Nazca lines where we've shown before that he's right inside of there wrapping everybody up as their phoenix, as their birds. And he's trying to catch them right there. And he will eat them. He eats the birds. He's eat them. We are passing over him. Jesus is right there. Just like that. There's a person, see his eye and his nose, being pulled up from by, by the Nazca lines. And he's wrapped up like a big phoenix bird. As an eagle, we have been granted our wings. And now we are passing over the Paul character. Right there. We go through, we go past the bull, and we are set into our rest right there. That's what that represents. The peas have all the things to do with the Pallades and such. These alien things are watchers. They are meant to do this job. Jesus Christ is the right-hand side. He is the left-hand side. This is the Ark of the Covenant right there, the big stone, the law. They are above the law. We are underneath the law and trapped beneath the burdens of sin. This is called the burden of Egypt. The exact same thing that Moses came out from under and they were set on top. See there? But right now we're trapped underneath here. The wages of sin are death to us. Jesus passes us over the great deception coming. This guy can possess people. In the movie, he talked of that he was just like the Predator from the Predator movie. He can turn invisible. He can go inside of people. It's just over and over and over again. 
So when this stone falls, representing the law and the great millstone, he comes right down. This whole ship will crash right there. That's half of it buried. See the ET? And this will be the sword out of Jesus' mouth, and then he will rise back up. His ship will be buried, and they will start turning the wheel of the Great Tribulation, just like the Winnebago started rolling across the country with it, IT, inside. See, alien on board means it's inside of him. That's what this means. They get inside of the people. That's what it's all about. They're inside. It's a different thing. It was shown in a, in a Stephen King movie. This guy was called Gray, like Mr. Gray, like Graham, like this guy Graham. And the alien would turn into a smoke and go inside of the person and possess them, just like a djinn, like a genie, a demon. That's what it's all about right there in front of us. So that's what we have right there. And this is when the eagle flies. We've mapped all this out. If you're down here and you're with Jesus Christ, don't worry. You will be on the eagle. So that's what that means. And in the Bible, when Jesus tears all of this down, see, he can pass us over, and then he casts him down. Michael and his angels cast down Satan and his angels. And we all go and enter into our rest with Jesus Christ. And then the wheel of the great tribulation turns, and the great deception with all of them. It'll all be, you know... We saw in that, movie, in that movie, everybody was falling for it. I mean, just like, they turned that little girl into a whore. The, the little Christian girl. Guys, this is too dangerous. They turned this little girl into a whore after they messed with her left eye. Realize what we're doing here. This is not a joke. See it right there? Do you see this big head landing on these two domes? It's the San Onofre power plant. And then, oh no, he's free. And it's the same time when the eagle leaves. See the two domes for the San Onofre power plant? And even Russia rises up, and the Vatican, and Islam, and just everything. And he comes to deceive the world. See that little thing in his hand? See how it's changing the left eye? This is the new Eucharist he gives out. See it right there with the left eye? God have mercy on us all, huh? Okay, that's enough for now. There you go. Everything we've been showing for years. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. You can see that right there. See the stone below him and all? All perfect. Jesus on top. With his fishing pole, fishing for men. There we go, and we pass over. Perfect. This was shown, let's show it like this. In the star systems, I've shown it before. We have all this mapped out. The dog star Sirius is right here. It can pass us over from Orion. Then do you see the V for the fifth age and the horns of the bull? We pass over and we end up in the Pleiades for our rest. The seven angels, the seven stars, the seven churches in Jesus' right hand. We go into our rest, into the heavenly area with the blue. It's got a blue nebula around it. And then the bull represents the rampaging wheel of the Great Tribulation and the Ark of the Covenant and the law, the wages of sin or death. Anybody below this, the wages of sin or death, you have the two cherubs, Jesus on one side, Satan on the other, and then Jesus goes and sits on the mercy seat right over here and passes everybody over into the heavenly area as the bull rampages, the Winnebago, just like that Winnebago traveling around across the earth deceiving the Christians. That's what this movie is doing. He's deceiving her, tricking her into coming away from Jesus. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There it is, right in front of us. You can hear all my dogs barking. Must be time for us to leave soon. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.